<laughs> Welcome to dipping a biscuit in tea for way too long. This is the soggy bits at the bottom. In today's very quick video, I'm going to show you how I repair files in lychee that have manifold problems. Stay tuned for more. I still speak like a robot and I don't understand why I speak like that whenever I speak to the camera. But I can speak normally to normal people. Sometimes when you import an item into Lychee, it may have holes in the object, which means the object itself is not manifold. Lychee can sometimes fix this problem, but not always. So usually you can click on that button over there and Lychee will do its best to resolve the problem. As it says, fix has been applied, but it's not going to work, so try Netfab if issues still remain. So I've never used Netfab before, but I'm going to show you exactly how I fixed this problem. So we'll open up the file. And if I double click on the file, it automatically opens up in 3D Builder. You click on the top, the little tick up at the top here to import the model. And it will tell you one or more of the objects are invalidly defined. Click here to repair. Click there to repair. And then wait, because sometimes it can take a while, depending on how big the file is. Usually while that is doing its thing, I will go back in and I may prepare my model for printing. So let's say I'm going to prepare this guy. I'm going to give him his angle. We want to print him at and then we're going to prepare and we'll lift him up and search for islands. I'm not actually going to be supporting this item, but just so that I can show you exactly how this system works. Let's just do some supports so that you, I can show you exactly what this will do. Let's just imagine for argument's sake that this file has been now supported. This is not going to print like this, but let's just say argumentatively, we have supported this file as we were waiting on the program to sort out everything for us. And I'm still waiting. Sometimes the files can be too big. It depends on who sculpted or who made the file. Sometimes there is just way too many polygons in the file and your computer is going to struggle to put that together. Just give it time, allow it to do what it needs to do and it will do the job eventually. Once that little pop-up window goes away, the file itself has been repaired. So you can go up to the three little lines up at the top, which is the menu and click save as. Make sure that you're in the exact same folder that the item already was in originally. In my case, it's this folder. At the bottom where it says save as type, you want to make sure that you've clicked STL format and then leave the name exactly the same. Do not change the name. Click save. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace it? Click yes. The file will then be saved. Again, depending on the speed of your computer, the size of the file, all these things, it can take a little while. Just give it time. It will do what it needs to do. I can close this window out and go back to my layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the file. And on the top right here, you can see it says update file. We click update file. And because we have replaced that file with the exact same name, it's going to search for that file and it's going to replace that file and give us a fixed item. Thank you, Lichi, for being awesome. And there you have it. That's how you repair a file. There is other ways to do this. You can use many other programs. The other way that you can do this is by using Mesh Mixer. This is another program that is free. You can download this for free on Google. And the way you can repair this in Mesh Mixer is by clicking on Analysis, then Inspector, and then Auto Repair All. I've already repaired this file, so Mesh Mixer will not find any problems with the file because the file has already been repaired but you would usually click inspector, repair all, and it'll tell you what was wrong with it. And you'll just click done or save as and whatever, and then save the file in the exact same way, this time by going export. And then you would make sure that you save it as an STL and you're gonna save it in under the same name and you'd click save. And that way, when you go into Lychee, you can update that file and it will search for the new file and replace that file. I hope that helped you if you ever had any problems with files not being manifold in lychee one of the biggest culprits for doing this is going from cheetah box into lychee for some reason cheetah box does weird stuff to the files and lychee doesn't like it it's not always the case but it can happen so if you have that problem it's easy to just repair the file including pre-supported files as well if you had a file that was pre-supported and had mesh problems you can repair that file in 3d builder and update the file and you would have the exact same situation. I hope that helps you. And if you didn't like this video, everybody here knows exactly the only thing that's left for you to do is to just f off, man. And that's the quickest recording I've ever done.